All right, guys, as you can see, we got all the liners out of here already. It's bore cutting day, so we're going to be getting down in there and uh, cutting the ledges and the counter bore there and getting the new liners fitted up. Show you that in a second. All right, YouTube, so the counter bore guy was here and uh, know there's a lot going on, so I don't really have a lot of time for filming. So basically what he did was, I don't know if you can see down there, probably see better like this. See this area here? This is the counter bore. That's the ledge that the sleeve sits on. And then you can see where he measured it. They were like 11 thousandths below factory specs. So of course we did every single cylinder. You can see that little ledge. And then just below that is a smooth surface that the um, O-ring seats in to create the water jacket so you got cooling. But just to give you a better idea what that ledge, there's that's number six, that's number five, four, three, two, and this is number one. I already put the sleeve in, and we're going to do the rest of them, but I just wanted to do a trial. But just to give you a better idea of what we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and show you on the sleeve itself what that looks like. All right, so here's the cylinder sleeve. Lay it on its side here. Here's a cylinder sleeve, and you can kind of see this lip right here, right? That's a pretty deep lip. And basically, that's where this whole cylinder slips into the block, and then it rests on this. And then the top, this is the top bore here. This gets sealed by the head gasket. And then, of course, you got this little higher portion right here. That's called the fire ring. Um, so when they bore it down, when they do the, um, the grinding, then you need a shim. This is the shim, this is a 20,000 shim. And basically that allows you to bore it, get a nice square surface, which you did an excellent job of. And then you put the shim in there and then that brings it back up to the proper height. So right now what we're gonna work on doing is uh, putting these sleeves in. All right, see you in a second. All right, so what you want to do, after I did the first one, I found out this uh, shim kind of got hung up on the O-ring a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is go ahead and drop the shim on there. And then, yep, you can see that. Then I'm going to take the O-ring. Remember, blue is for 152. And we're going to go ahead and drop that into the little groove here around the center bore of the cylinder sleeve. And then what Quick Serve Online suggests that you do is use vegetable oil to lubricate this. And then once you lubricate it, you've got to install it within 15 minutes because the seal will start to swell. Not only did I read that on QuickServe Online, but uh, I also got that from the counterboard guy. He said just get it in there as quick, quick as you can because it's going to start swelling. But um, these cylinders I got from ATL Diesel, they just they look really great. So far, the first one went in there great. All the measurements were just spot on with this thing. So. I'm just going to take this olive oil and I'm just going to pour it around this gasket here. Go ahead and get it all nice and smoothed in. Sorry, the O-ring. And then let's go ahead and install it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to install this in cylinder number two. You just want to make sure everything's clean, dust free, oil, debris, any of that kind of stuff. 
And then here we go with the cylinder. Now I'm gonna have to climb up on top of the engine here to get it. So I just wanted you to see how this kind of goes in there. You gotta be somewhat of a contortionist sometimes. So we're just gonna set this down in here. You notice I got the shim in there. We're gonna go ahead and drop this down in there nice and easy like. So it gets into position and you'll see it just kind of drops in there. And then I just kind of rotate it a little bit just to make sure it's seated up in there nice. And then just take the palms of your hands and did you see that? It just went in there nice and easy. Nice and easy. So now we got one and two. Let's move on to number three. Okay. Just wanted to show you real quick how these PAI kits are packaged that I got from ATL Diesel. You get the O-ring right in the top. You pull out the sleeve. You can see it's double packed in plastic wrap. It's covered in cosmoline and oil just to keep it from rusting. Uh, that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Okay. okay, number three. And then plunge. There it is, it's in there. Okay, right. number four. There we go. Number four is in. All right. Number five. And uh, ooh, it's good to feel that lip around number five again. It didn't used to exist. All right, so now on to number six. And last but not least, <coughs> it's painful up here sometimes. Number five or six uh, there we go ready ouch it's hard to get it at this angle Ow, everything hurts it's in all right number six that's the final one all need to Showing them all six. Oh, these... <laughs> Shit, I can't get out of here now. Oh. Oh. Alright YouTube, well that's going to do it for this episode of installing the sleeves in my ISX. 
Once again, I'd like to give a big shout out to ATL Diesel for helping supply these parts and the counterbore cutting. Sorry I didn't have time to, uh, you know, film the counterbore cutter guy doing his job, but he's kind of focused on his work, didn't really want to be disrupted by that too much, but he did a really great job. The guy knows his stuff. Um, if you ever, if you're in the Arizona area and you need some boring or anything like that done, check out Engine Savers. All right, until next time, we'll see y'all later.